What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to this new episode of Restorations with Vic. What I'm gonna... Thank you for calling Rejuvenator. My name is Hayden. How can I help you today? Hey Hayden. Dude, I'm trying to film a video here. Definitely, definitely. Let me go ahead and look that up for you real quick. Can you talk... Hey Hayden, can you hear me? Alrighty, you have a good rest of your day, man. Oh, what's going on, Vic? You want some chips, bro? Your chips. Thanks for calling Rejuvenator. My name is Hayden. How can I help you today? How's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to this new episode of Restorations with Vic. Before we get started on today's custom, I want to show you guys my 4.0 setup. The 3.0 setup was dope, don't get me wrong. It had the lights, it had the rejuvenator products and paints, the background was sick, it was a perfect setup. The only problem was the building I was working in. There were just too many distractions and too many noises going on. I would have Johnny and Hayden, both customer service, taking in phone calls all day. Quinn and Steve doing boss stuff like interviews and phone calls all day as well. I would have chairs squeaking, doors opening, just non-stop distractions to the point where I just couldn't film these videos anymore. Quinn was nice enough to open, his, open up his house to me. He let me borrow his living room. It's perfect. It has four walls, a ceiling, and a fireplace. It's a perfect setup because there's no noise, there's zero distractions, so I can really lock in on these videos. So what I'll be customizing today are these all black Air Max 90s. I'm going to be taking inspiration from Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon album cover. This cover and album is super dope. We'll be taking elements like the triangle, the colors, the white, and putting it on the shoe. We're also going to be taking inspiration from this custom that I did a couple years back. The Magical Mystery Tour Air Max 90s. This custom is still one of my favorites. So without further ado guys, let's get started. The first step we gotta do is prep this entire shoe using some acetone and cotton balls. We gotta go in and remove the entire factory finish off the shoe. That way when we go in and apply paint onto the leather and the midsoles, it actually adheres to the material. Okay, so we got the prep work fully done. Now let's move on to some tape work. The first area we gotta tape off are some areas on the midsole, specifically this pod, this pod, and the back tap, so we can start laying down some paint. Okay, finally, all taped up and napkined up. Now let's lay down some paint. The first color we gotta lay down is the white base coat for the midsole and the back panel. Then we can start laying down our colors. The colors we're gonna be using are the colors on the album cover. All six colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. We're gonna lay down the exact same way I did the Magical Mystery Tours. White base coat's laid down. The first color we're gonna lay down now is the purple. Purple looks solid, let's move on to the blue. Now we're gonna move on to our third color, which is our green. Green looks cash money. Let's move on to the yellow. Boom, orange looks good. Let's lay on the last color, which is our red. I 
that looks really good guys go ahead and check that out as you can see we got some really crisp lines all around it was honestly super satisfying removing the tape after each color i laid down took forever i also went ahead and laid down the black paint on the nike air letters looks nice and crisp but we're still not done let's go ahead and move on to the toe box area for the toe box area we're gonna lay down a white base coat then lay down some green and then lay down our first stencil White base coat is laid down. Next color we're gonna lay down is our green. Okay, green's laid down. Now let's lay down our first stencil, which is our waveform. That's on the inside of the album. We'll lay it down, then we'll lay down another white base coat, and then we'll start laying down the rest of the colors. White base coat laid down. Next color we're gonna lay down is our blue. All right, so we got the blue laid down. We're taped up. Now let's lay down the purple. Okay guys, so we got some progress here in the toe box. We went ahead and laid down the yellow, the orange, the red, and the black. It looks nice and crispy. There's a ton of touch-ups that need to be done um, all around the edges of the colors. I'll take care of that later. What we're gonna do now is tape off all these colors so we can lay down the rest of the black on this bottom portion of the toe box, and then we'll remove the stencil. So we get the tape off. Before I can move on to the next step, I'm just gonna go ahead and do some touch up work on the toe box area. I still gotta go in with the paintbrush and take care of the white, paint it black, and do some other detail work. We'll come back in a bit and move on to the next step. Next step we're gonna do is lay down some color shifting paint from Solar Color Dust. It's gonna look something like this, but in a different color. As you can see, when you move it around, one angle is purplish violet and then another angle is blue. I don't know exactly what color this is. It's been a while since I used it, but it's gonna look similar to that shoe. Let's go ahead and lay it down with my airbrush. All right, so we got it looking very nice and shiny. Let's go ahead and remove the tape. All right, so we got the tape off. This custom's starting to come together. The color shifting paint looks really cool, but I think it's missing in other areas of the shoe. I don't know yet, I might come back after this step and add some more of this stuff onto the uppers. Right now, what we're gonna do next is lay down our famous pyramid stencil. Shout out to British Customs, by the way, for making these stencils. He came through last minute. We're gonna lay down this stencil on this back area right here. We'll lay it down and then we'll spray some white paint. All right guys, so before I can show you guys how the pyramid stencil in the back came out, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down a gloss finish on the toe box area using some Krylon Crystal Clear. It's already taped up, good to go. We're gonna go outside and do that because this stuff really stinks. When we come back, we're gonna remove the tape, do the last step, and wrap up this custom. Let's do it. Glossy finish is laid down on the toe box, guys. It looks really good along with the rest of the custom. We'll talk about it in just a bit. The last thing we gotta do to protect this beautiful paint job is go outside and spray it with some rejuvenated water and stain repellent. Afterwards, we're gonna spill some water on it to show you guys how well this stuff works. Let's do it.
We are back guys. As you can see, our rejuvenated water and stain repellent definitely did the job on the shoe and worked amazingly. Now let's go ahead and talk about this custom. For this custom, the colors are super vibrant, the color shifting paint is on point, the glossy black and the matte black, the stencil work, everything about the shoe tied together very nicely. I personally think I did a good job representing the Dark Side of the Moon album cover. We got the famous pyramid that has a light beam connecting with the Air Max that represents the front of the album. We of course got a bunch of colors on the back tab, on the midsoles and the front to represent the big old rainbow of course. We got the waveform on the toe box to represent the inside of the album. And of course, I went ahead and laid down a dope color shifting paint on the uppers to represent that psychedelic look that I was going for. Overall, this custom came out really sick, guys. And at the end, I went ahead and sprayed it with our water and standard repellent that you can find at rejuvenator.com. Use my promo code in the description below. Shout out to you, Roger Waters. Shout out to Pink Floyd. If you want to rock this custom, hit me up because it's all yours, dude. This is Vic Almighty. I'll see you guys next Monday. Yeah, dude, so that's how I found out my dog died. <laughs> that's cool, dude. Hey, have you seen my Pink Floyd custom anywhere? It was on my table right now. No, weren't you working on it outside? I've been inside all day, dude. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I could have I saw you out there. Hey, yo, what are you doing with my custom? You want to get crazy. We can get crazy.